Hey guys, it's Colby this week. Sadie is sick, and so she's not able to make a video, but she'll be back next week. Just be praying for her to get better. Um, this week, I'm going to talk to you guys about your words. And I'll start it off with the Bible verse, Ephesians 4.29. And it says, Don't use foul or abusive language. Let everything you say be good and helpful so that your words will be an encouragement to those who hear them. When I hear that verse and when I read it, I don't think just of, oh, that means don't cuss or anything like that. I think that that's a part of it. I think that that's what foul kind of is. But I also think that it has to do with things you say to people and the things you say behind doors. And um, I don't think it just relates to saying bad words or cussing or anything like that. I think it has to do with what you say to other people. And I will go ahead and admit that I have said mean things about people before and I'm not proud of that but I'll own up to that. I have said oh gosh I don't like her outfit or oh, she does not look good in that or oh he's just such a jerk or something like that and I shouldn't have because not only is that using hurtful words that's also just kind of being judgmental and I've also experienced it before people saying rude things about me and you might not think that one small comment about the way someone looks or the way they do a certain thing, you might not think it's a big deal, but it is. Words are powerful and words hurt and words stick to people. Maybe not in the ways that you think that they will, but they do. And I have struggled with, um, with being able to deal with those words and I haven't always dealt with them in the right way which the right way is just you know saying you know what I'm sorry that you feel like you have to put other people down to make yourself feel better but I'm not going to listen to those words and I think what we all struggle with is being hateful towards each other I mean hatefulness is kind of natural to us and it's I mean, it's just kind of what everyone does. It's just being hateful, which is so wrong. Words, again, are so powerful. And what you say isn't just some one little comment. It's mean and it hurts people. And that's not right. Like I said last week, we're not here to hurt people. We're here to love people. And nobody can argue that saying, oh gosh, she's ugly, or he's a jerk, or something like that is okay, because it's not. It's not okay. We are here to love. We are here to support, and we are here to be the light in people's life. And when you're saying rude comments about people, and you're saying something so full of hatred, how is someone going to be like, gosh, they think, they say things about people like that and they're gonna they're say oh I'm a Christian whatever oh man have did you see her or your every other word out of your mouth is a cuss word you're giving the wrong example to people you're not being you're not being a good example of a Christian when you say and do stuff like that and I'm not saying I'm perfect I'm not saying I haven't done that I have and I when I do I say oh my gosh why would I do that Lord please forgive me for even thinking stuff like that because that's so unnecessary and so mean and I guess I guess I just it's so hard for me to understand why we're like that and why I've been like that before because I know how it feels but yet I have still done that to somebody and I'm just like Colby you know how that feels to have something like that said or uh or a comment like that towards you. So why would you do that? And I've been trying really hard over these last few months to watch what I say and just love people more with the love of Jesus rather than judgmentalness and and uh, just being so hateful towards people. And I encourage you to do the same thing because it's not right and words hurt and words stick to you. I remember a mean comment that was said about me in seventh grade that I've been self-conscious of ever since seventh grade because one boy said something really mean to me about a feature. And I now I'm like, even if I try not to, I'm still self-conscious of it because he told me that in seventh grade. That was 
Oh gosh, I'm really bad at math, sorry. That was five years ago and I still remember that. I barely even remember seventh grade, but I remember the mean comments. People are gonna remember the mean things you say about them a lot easier than they remember the good. So make the good words stick, not the bad, okay? And just love on people. Don't be so hate hateful towards people because it's not fun and it hurts. I could cry at some of the things that people have said about me or even some of the things that I've said about people that I'm so ashamed of. And it's just, it's not okay. And I think that once we all realize that those words and those comments, they don't get anywhere. And yeah, you might think that saying something about someone is going to make yourself feel better, but it doesn't. It's going to make yourself feel worse because whatever it is that you're unhappy with yourself, that that's why you have to lash out at people, it's just going to make you think about it more and more, which is going to make you want to be more and more hateful. So step back and look at the people that you don't like. And if you don't like them for no reason, just because they look like this or they did this, then realize that that's a problem and that we need to fix that problem and we need to be brighter lights and not try and make people darker. I love you guys. And sorry that I'm getting so emotional this week. It's just kind of really hitting me hard recently. So um, I hope you guys have a great week. And I love you. And I'll see you later.